Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on GitHub Webhooks. In a previous video, we looked at getting started with GitHub Webhooks and in this video, we're going to be doing a simple tutorial with GitHub Webhooks. We're going to have an API that logs webhook events. So we're going to target our GitHub Webhooks to an endpoint on this API that is going to log a subsection of the webhook event sent to us by GitHub. So what do we need for this tutorial? The first thing is an API. So I have a demo API running. I'm just going to pull up my command line and go to the first terminal. And as you can see, the server is running at localhost 1337. This server's code is here in VS Code. And it has two endpoints. Well, let me say three. There's the root endpoint. And we have an endpoint for logging the GitHub webhook. That is the endpoint that is going to save a subset of the information we're getting from our webhook payload into the database. And also we have this third endpoint, which is fetch webhook logs. If we check this endpoint, let me just copy and go to my browser. If we browse this endpoint, that will be localhost 1337. And go to this endpoint, we're going to see that we have a test entry. We have this test entry inside. So when we start receiving uh, GitHub webhooks, we're going to see more entries in this collection so um what else we are go also going to be needing the ubdex cli because we need to generate a webhook url that is publicly accessible so we're going to need the ubdex cli i have the ubdex cli already installed that's why when i type the ubdex command i get a list of commands that i can run using the cli tool and the last thing we're going to be needing is an actual github project i've opened the github project this is a test project it contains just a readme file that we're going to be adding and removing text from just to just to enforce or rather just to trigger commits and push and when we push we get a webhook from this project this project is open locally at this location on my system so github webhooks practice and if i list the files you'll see that we have just readme and you can look into the readme and see what it contains so we have some text again even more and even more text so we're going to be editing this um file to commit code to our repository and trigger github webhooks so the first step in this tutorial is to generate our webhook url and like i said we're going to be doing that with the ubdex cli let me just clear this um our application is going at this port so not the port because we're going to need to supply that to the ubdex cli to generate our webhook url and to generate the url i'm going to type hook deck and use the listen command pass in the port hit enter hook deck is going to get me into this interactive cli where i get to answer a bunch of questions and uh yeah so what should be the new source label uh i'm just going to say github because i'm with receiving github webhooks you can give this anything you want and what part should be the webhooks be forwarded to we want to forward it to the part where it is being logged. So that will be log GitHub webhook. For slash log GitHub webhook. So you can just paste this here and hit enter. What's your connection label? Connection label, that's whatever name you want to call your receiving API. I'm just going to call it my GitHub response API. Good. So we have that supplied, and as you can see, Ukdeg generates the webhook URL for us down here. We have the webhook URL because we're using a guest account. I'm currently not logged in, and um, for users, for people that are trying Ukdeg for the first time, you get this um, guest login URL. So I'm just going to load that in my browser to have an authenticated session. So I have that pasted. Just have that running there. It's just going to show me my dashboard, my temporary dashboard because the guest account so um the most important thing here is the webhook url so just copy the webhook url here because we're going to be using this to create our github webhook so the next step is to create the um github webhook and to create the github webhook you go to your github project and go to the settings tab so you click on settings and on the settings page on the side menu here we have webhooks so you click webhooks i'm just going to delete any existing webhook here so we don't get confused Delete, yeah, I want to delete this webhook. Good. To add a new webhook, click on the add new webhook, uh, the add webhook button. 
and you get taken to this webhook form. The payload URL is the most important thing, that's why it's marked with this red asterisk. And there you supply your webhook URL. We already have our webhook URL copied from the CLI, from the UGDEX CLI, so we're just going to paste this in. Content type, for this practice we're going to be using application JSON because we want to collect our payload in JSON. For the secret, I have uh, this is the API secret. This is an optional field, but for the sake of security, you might want you would want to do this so that you can use uh, cryptographic um, decryption or cryptographic algorithms to be able to verify that your payload is actually coming coming from GitHub. So we're going to be setting a an API key. I already have the API key in my code on the server. Is A B C D one two three. Definitely you want to set a stronger secret in production. But for this, I'm just going to be setting this simple secret. Now be sure to take note of this secret because this is the only time GitHub will allow you to see it. When you come back to this webhook, you won't be able to see this again. SSL verification, yeah, we're using Google Deck generates an HTTPS um, URL for us. So yeah, we want to have SSL verification en enabled because it's recommended. Which event would you like to trigger? Now, most people are interested in push event. That's why GitHub creates a very specific option for it. But you can also subscribe for everything. It's not advisable because you can easily hit your GitHub rate limits or just have a lot of irrelevant things sent to your webhook URL. Or you can go ahead and select individual events that you want to subscribe for. You can just pick the ones that you're interested in and get webhooks for those. But for now, we're just going to be going for the push event, simple and straightforward. We're going to leave this active checkbox checked because we want to we want the payload to be delivered to us. And everything looks good. Click on add webhook. Good. Now we have our webhook added. And when the moment you add a webhook, GitHub immediately sends this ping event. And what the ping event does is just to verify that your help you verify that your webhook URL is active and it can send data to it. So here on the command line, we see an entry for the ping event that we just, uh, that was just triggered because we created the webhook. Let's copy the event URL for that and check it out in our browser. Here on the events page, as you can see, first, the most important thing is that we got a 201 and is also indicated here on the CLI. The status code 201 github sends a post request that is uh the request method that github uses to send its webhooks and this is the endpoint that we're sending it to that we're forwarding the request to which is our log github webhook endpoint and we have our event url so loaded up is our event url and on this page we can actually see a whole lot of information for example um information about what we configured on hook deck which is sending github to my github response api this is just a slog for the name we give our api we got a 201 as we've seen and on this other section we can actually see all the github headers that come with our request and here in the github um x github event header you can see that this is a ping event and we also have the security signature here which is which we're going to be using to verify our payload later on in this uh tutorial one section you're going to be most interested in is the body and here we have the body you can expand it there's a root object we have this zen message that github sends this is a ping event so github actually just spoofs a webhook request so we have uh, the hook object we have the repository object which contains information about the repository that this is coming from and we have information about the sender that is who is the person that made the commit that triggered this request so you can actually get a whole lot of information here and down here you can click this status bar to actually see the message that the api returned so this is where you can see errors that are coming from your server in case we run into an error this is where you can see the error that your server returns so we have the ping event going fine but that was just the ping event let us see what happens when we make an actual push so to do that i simply go to our sample github project as located here so what i'm just going to do is um edit this file and because it already contains a bunch of text i'm just going to remove some text from it good then i'm just going to save that i 
and yeah we're good to go let's commit the changes in this project and push to github now that we have successfully pushed this project to github we should have another webhook been fired let's go to the session where the ugdex cli is running and as you can see we have another webhook entry here 201 meaning that something was created in our database the post request being forwarded to this endpoint and we have the event url for the webhook we just received so let's copy that and go to our browser load it up and you'll see a page similar to what we saw before so yeah we have the other section we've seen before now we're not getting a ping event we're getting a push event which is what we actually subscribed for and you can open the body and see more information here than we saw earlier with the with the ping event we now have uh, information about the pusher we have information about the commits and also this add commit object so there's more information in actual github commits than we saw with the ping event you can also click uh, the status bar down here to see what your server actually returned and it's a json object with a simple message that says webhook event successfully logged so now that we know that our webhook events have been logged let's go to the endpoint that fetches our webhook logs Let's refresh and now as you can see we have two more entries one for the ping event and another one for the push that we just made to github fantastic so currently we have the validation portion of our code commented out we have this validate payload method which is actually a middleware that we use to validate all requests all post requests that come true and that will be the webhook request so we take this api secret and using the SHA-256 algorithm picking the EDA XORB signature 256 to verify that we are getting the payload from GitHub. So to enforce this I'm just going to comment out the middleware. I'm going to comment out the middleware. Hook deck event pages give us the ability to retry the event so I don't actually need to simulate another commit and push to github we can just retry the event so i'm just going to retry the event to make sure that everything still works fine to make sure that the validation is working fine but before i do that i have to kill and restart my server so i'm just going to kill the server and restart it good we have the server running again now let's go back to the event page and retry this webhook event queued for retry that should be retried already let's go to our cli where the hook deck session is running and here we get a successful request our validation is passing and we get a successful request as we have always gotten but uh if you are in doubt i'm just going to go to the code and mess around with the api secret i'm going to remove the four and save this then go to the session where the server is running and restart it good now let's retry the event and see what we get so i'm just going to click the retry button once again that's going to retry the webhook and now let's go to our cli where the ugdex session is running and you see we get a 500 interesting we get a 500 so let's see what happens um so we get this 500 as you can see you can see the attempts down here so you can just click the 500 arrow and if you look at this message very well it says request body digest sha 256 this did not match the one found in the signature meaning that when it computed the sha 256 signature for the way for the payload that we received it did not match the one that was sent by github and that's simply because the secrets were different because the secret that was used to calculate this is wrong and it is not matching the one sent by github so that's how you verify that uh, your payload is correct and it's been sent by github it's not being spoofed by an attacker so that's our tutorial on github webhooks i hope you've learned one or two interesting things from it if you have found this video useful please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more information and more videos on webhooks thank you